and Tenure La Shobo Ale. Here's your Channel TV Evening News Recap for January the 23rd, 2021. Nigeria on Friday reported 2,314 cases of the coronavirus, according to the Nigeria Center for Disease Control in a Saturday tweet. It's the first time the NCDC has reported over 2,000 cases in one day since it started tracking infections last February. An explosion has occurred at a gas plant in Agoi, Kass South, local government area of Delta State. The gas plant went up in flames Friday night, raising down some buildings, killing at least four persons, including three children, and leaving 11 others with various degrees of burns. Governor Ifanyo Koa visited some of the victims at the hospitals where they are receiving treatment on Saturday. In Kaduna State, the Nigeria Correctional Service is debunked claims by the Islamic movement in Nigeria that the wife of its embattled leader, Sheikh Ibrahim Ozadzaki, has been infected by the deadly COVID-19 while in detention at its facility in the state. This was contained in a statement signed by the spokesman of the Nigerian Correctional Center, but in a state man, Daniel Wadai, who insisted that there is no report of any COVID-19 infection in any of their facilities as all inmates are safe and well protected. On the international scene, the iconic TV and radio broadcaster, Larry King, who interviewed anyone worth interviewing over a career spanning six decades, has died at the age of 87. The company he co-founded, Aura Media, did not state a cause of death, but media reports said King had been battling COVID-19 for weeks and had suffered several health problems in recent years. And in sports, Southampton have dumped FA Cup holders Arsenal out of the competition winning one nil courtesy of a Gable own goal to set up a fifth round meeting with the Wolves. The much changed Gunners who have won the competition a record 14 times fell behind midway through the first half and could not find a way back. And that's the evening news recap. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I'm Tenyola Shibuale. Thanks for